the S&P 500, GSPC, fell percent, or points, as of 11.43 a.m. ET, with the tech and materials sectors leading declines. The Dow, DJI, dropped percent, or 430 points. The Nasdaq, IXIC, fell 1.5%, or points. Stocks began to stabilize Wednesday after sharply dropping earlier in the week, ending the session little changed as investors weighed the likelihood of the Trump administration following through on its threat to raise levies on Chinese-made goods. On Sunday, President Donald Trump tweeted that he intended to raise the rate of tariffs on $200 billion worth of Chinese imports to 25%, and impose that same rate of taxes on an additional $325 billion worth of goods. The unexpected threat of escalation generated a whirlwind of volatility in markets, and was reportedly spurred by Beijing's last-minute reneging on a slew of key parts of the working trade deal. The new tariffs will go into effect at 12.01 a.m. on Friday. Meanwhile, the U.S. and Chinese delegations are scheduled to continue trade talks in Washington, D.C., on Thursday. However, the prospects of the U.S. and Chinese delegations reaching a deal before the deadline has so far looked dim. During a rally in Florida Wednesday night, Trump said that China broke the deal with the U.S., and that they'll be paying. China's Commerce Ministry said on Wednesday that the country is prepared to take necessary countermeasures to retaliate in the event that the U.S. implements additional tariffs. Disney, Dis reported fiscal second quarter results after market close Wednesday that beat Wall Street's expectations, although it posted a widening loss in its segment housing its new streaming platforms. Adjusted earnings of dollar per share were lower than last year's dollar per share, but better than the dollar per share expected by Wall Street, as investors braced for Disney's recent direct-to-consumer investments and uptake of 21st Century Fox's assets to take a bite out of the bottom line. Disney more than doubled operating losses in its direct-to-consumer and international segment to $393 million. The U.S. trade deficit in goods and services widened to $50 billion in March, from a revised $49.3 billion in February, the Commerce Department reported Thursday. March exports rose by $2.1 billion from February to $212 billion, while March imports rose $2.8 billion to $262 billion. Emily McCormick is a reporter for News Pulse Finance. Follow her on Twitter, at Emily underscore MCCK. Follow News Pulse Finance on Twitter, Facebook, INSTagram, Flipboard, LinkedIn, and Reddit.